Hey guys, this is Michael with Jackie Cooper again. Today we're going to be going over the 2019 Rogue, and I know that there are a ton of videos out there on this, I'm sure. Uh, so I wanted to try to do something a little bit more specific. One thing that I always get asked by customers every single time is, you know, what's the difference between the trim levels? I ask them about S and SV and SL, a lot of times we can sound like we're talking in code. Uh, but I get asked that question all the time, you know, well, what's the difference between the S and the jump down to an SV from an SL? So what I wanted to try to do was to give a good rundown of that and I hope it helps out, hope it's a video that, that gives you some more information that maybe you didn't find somewhere else. So we're going to start on the S model over here. So this one right here is a 2019 S. This is going to be your base model. Uh, mechanically, all three of these cars are going to be the exact same. They all got the same 2.5 uh, four-cylinder, 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine in it, 170 horsepower. There's no engine option, so mechanically, all this stuff is is easy and straightforward. Uh, but whenever you just go in for the base model, unequipped with anything extra, uh, you are going to have you know your steel wheels with your plastic covers like this. Uh, you don't have the uh, turn signals on the outside. You've got the regular, you know, black door handles, things like that. And one of the biggest differences with the S over the others is that you're still going to have a bladed key. So you've got keyless entry and everything, but you're still going to be putting the key in and turning it. I know a lot of people want a push button start these days. But even with all that said, the basic Rogue is very well equipped anymore. You've got a touch screen in it. It's got Apple CarPlay so and Android Auto. So technically you've got a navigation unit if you've got a smart car. Even in a base model, you don't need to spend the extra money for that. As well as a handful of features that you wouldn't really expect in a base model, like the blind spot warnings in it. Uh, it's got lane departure warning and lane departure intervention on it. Uh, of course, it's got backup cameras, Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming as well. So if you use your phone for music, uh, you don't have to have it plugged in. You can just run it straight over Bluetooth. But basic setup here on the S model, uh, you're still going to get a lot of features. There's only one available package on it this year, and that's the special edition package. It's going to add a lot of value to the car because you're going to get a 17 inch set of wheels. You're going to upgrade from the steel wheels with the plastic covers to the wheels that are on the SV here, uh, which we'll show you here in just a second. There's 17 inch wheels on the SV, so you're gonna move up to those with that package. You're gonna get heated outside mirrors, you get privacy glass on the back. Uh, it turns your door handles and stuff chrome again, heated front seats. Uh, it gives you a lot of value on the S model you might not have had otherwise, but special edition package is the only package that's available on this one. But that's a basic rundown of your S. Now, whenever you jump to the SV, you're immediately going to notice that you gain some things, okay? Uh, first set is going to be your set of wheels. You automatically get a set of 17-inch alloy wheels on it. You got your turn signals in the doors. You move to an, an intelligent key to where, unless you want to remote start the car, you technically never have to dig it out of your purse or your pocket. You can just press the button and lock and unlock the door right there as long as it, you have it in the proximity. Same thing with the rear door. It's got a motion activated lift gate on the SV that is not available on the S model. Um, it also does have remote start, so you automatically get that standard whenever you jump into this. You get power front seats, whereas with the S model, you had a manual seat. And this one, you do get the power front seats. They're heated uh, from the factory, standard like that. Dual climate control system in it. So you can control each side separately. If one driver runs hotter or colder than the passenger, you've got it. S model, you can't do that. You also get an extra set of speakers in this for the sound system. So the S model's only got four speakers in it. The SV, you move up to that, you're gonna get seven or six speakers out of it. Uh, you also get a little bit more of a choice with your packages, your optional packages on this one. There's two of them available, the premium package and then the sun and sound touring package. You're going to be making a choice between one or the other. Uh, the premium package is going to give you an 18-inch 18 set, 18 set of wheels, more in common with the SL, which is what he's showing you now. So bigger set of wheels on it. It's going to give you an electronic parking brake, uh, heated steering wheel on it, memory seats. But the big thing is it's going to give you the Pro Pilot Assist, the semi-autonomous driving with the intelligent cruise control built into it. Uh, 
so this car when you're on the highway can essentially drive itself and take all the stress out of driving which is a huge deal uh, it also gives you the around view monitor which instead of having a basic backup camera like on the s model on this one you have a camera on all four sides of the car that gives you a bird's eye view of everything that's around you on it so that adds a lot of value the other package you can get though is the sun and sound touring package which would be the other choice, probably a little bit more expensive, but it has all the things that the premium package does, but it adds rear uh, reading lights in the back uh, seats. It's gonna add the Bose sound system that you can otherwise only get in the SL. Uh, you can get it in the SV with that. Gives you a bigger spare tire, and it also gives you the moon roof. Uh, so those are your two packages, the, the premium package and then the sun and sound touring package, which basically gives you the radio and the moonroof to go along with the pro pilot and around you and everything. Uh, but a whole lot of value built into an SV. There's a reason why we sell so many of these. The value for money is extremely, extremely high. But moving from the SV, if you move up to the SL, the things that you're gonna gain, again, the first things you'll notice, the SL has a set of fog lights on it. The uh, SV doesn't have that. You've got your own set of wheels on it uh, that, the 18 inch wheels it's got the around view monitors so the cameras on all four sides of the car they're built into it obviously this is leather heated seats heated steering wheel uh, navigation is standard in it memory seats are standard in it the Bose sound system is standard in it this is the one that's going to have essentially all of your options built in that they have available in fact they only have one package on the SL that's an optional package and all it does is give you the LED actual headlights instead of the daytime running lights being at LED, they'd both be LED and have a moonroof and a rear reading light. That's the only package on there. Uh, it's a premium package and really the main thing is the moonroof that it adds. Uh, so this SL is going to come with essentially every feature we have to offer uh, in the Rogue right now, which is a whole lot of technology, a whole lot of features, a whole lot of things that can help benefit your driving and make things a lot more simple. So I hope this helps. I hope it's a, a, you know, a beginning breakdown of the difference between the three trims, what you can get, what you can't, uh, where the features that are important to you are at, and uh, I hope it helps. So any questions, please do give us a call here at Jackie Cooper. Thanks again, guys.